Tim Bartz here with your Maverick Monday video, and we're going to talk about this drop-in liner. So, um, so is, this is the modular hard drop-in liner by Ford. It's available as optional equipment on your Maverick, but also it's the bed liner you get when you get the Lux package. So on the XLT, so XLT luxury package comes with this uh, bed liner, and it's going to come with your truck when it comes in. So if you uh, don't like it, you have to take it apart. So we're going to actually show you in this video how, what to do to kind of take it apart and take it out. Um, and then also we're hearing that some customers are having, they don't like it because they don't like the noise. Um, so we're going to take this on a test drive and we're going to take it down and we're going to do that. Now this happens to be a black appearance package, which on the black appearance package does require a Lux package to add the black appearance package on the XLT trim. Uh, so that's why you're seeing this this in here and we think spray and bed liner is a way to go on a, on a black appearance package so we're going to go ahead and take this out we will put putting a spray and bed liner in this which brings me to another point we're doing a giveaway so if you have an order with us uh, your maverick is coming here to the dealership in, in the month of march uh, we have a giveaway for you so we're going to do three free spray and bed liners and we'd like to have it for customers that don't want the drop-in liner so they can get it uh, for free and not cost any extra since ford's already charging you for this whether you like it or not um, and so we want to do that. So we have a new company we're working with that gets our materials for our spray and liner uh, that's local to us, uh, which we like to work with uh, companies that are local um, if we can. And so we're going to do, they want to give away three of those. So drop in the comments, give away, uh, and uh, that you want to be in there and entered. Uh, and then you might, uh, if you're picked, we'll go ahead and let you know. And then you'll need to email us because we can't contact you through YouTube. So anyway, there we go, giveaway for you. So let's get a little closer. Let's take a look at this drop-in liner. Um, so this is, I said in the past that it's a four-piece drop-in liner. Actually, it's a five-piece because the tailgate cover has a, a piece on it too. It is held down by these eight screws right here. I think they're torque screws. Um, and uh, we'll be taking that off a little bit later. Um, but uh, you can see just these here on the top, not on the back or on the bottom. So that's just kind of held right there. You can kind of hear a little rattle of it because it's kind of just it's, just, it's just screwed down. Now this in here, there's four pieces on the inside. And the reason it's called a modular drop-in liner is because this bottom piece here, this is uh, the bed tray liner. So if you ever looked on the building price and you saw the bed tray liner listed, that's just the bottom piece. So they're actually repurposing and, and using several different pieces. And so like on the F-150 and the Ranger where it was just one big piece, they dropped in, put them under the rails and you were good. And, you, and it just had a lot of wavy and stuff in it. They've made it four pieces, five pieces. Now, instead, um, making the bed tray liner that one bottom liner there piece. So we'll actually take this apart later in the video, uh, but we're probably gonna leave that one in and let the, uh, the guys that are gonna do a spray and liner take it out. Cause these down here, these tie downs are in there really good, really tight. They're a nice big torque. I think they're a, a 30 or a 40. Anyway, they're pretty heavy duty, uh, but we're going to take the other ones off. Um, but also the side pieces. So the bottom piece goes in first when they've installed these, then the front piece goes in and you'll see this piece up here that kind of holds that top of it in because it doesn't have any kind of lip for it to tuck under like the side ones do. So that's how that's going to go on there. So we'll, we'll take that off as well. And then it's just put back there. Nothing else holding that in place other than these side pieces. Side pieces have three tie downs that are holding them kind of in the in position as well as one bolt back here I noticed on the back that kind of keeps it down to the bottom tray liner. Uh, so we'll, we'll take those out. Now we're gonna take this for a drive right now because um, we've been told uh, by our um, service department that a lot of people are coming back after having these drop-in liners, they want them taken out because they said they're noisy. They're loud on the highway, on the road, that it creates a lot of vibration in the bed and you can hear it inside. So we're gonna actually take, I got a mic on here so you can see me, it's a directional mic. We're gonna take that off and be on the, on the inside so we can, so you can get a good perspective of what we're hearing on the inside uh, and see if you can hear it. And then we'll also put mount a GoPro up here, pointing down towards the, not that you might be able to see anything happening with the GoPro, but for that audio for that, and hopefully you have it down low enough, uh, they won't get any wind noise, but just the noise from this. So let's see what happens. We're gonna take it out and see if we experience the same thing other customers are and why uh, they're wanting to take these out. And then we'll take this apart. All right, so we're going to get up and uh, leaving out of the dealership here, we're going to get up to speed. Uh, there's a, this old road here that uh, lets us go 55. We'll just go to different speeds and see if we hear anything. 
and so we'll probably have a lot of this where we're just going to be quiet so you guys can kind of hear uh, if there's any noise back there. In fact, I got the AC on. We're even going to turn the AC down um, to one notch so you're not hearing any of the AC coming through. And I'm sure in some situations it's just the angle of the wind. So you got a really heavy side wind or uh, or something that you're probably hearing it. And so we may not hear it today. It may be faster speeds. We'll get up on the highway too. Don't hear anything. Um, now, one of the things that you can, now on this, probably a lot of you are probably thinking already, I plan to put a bed cover on my truck, then it doesn't matter. If you're putting a bed cover on the truck, then you're not going to probably have that issue of it making noise back there because it's, the wind's not moving or moving inside the bed. Uh, but this would be mainly for people that don't put a bed cover on theirs. Um, so that might be an easy solution too if you're thinking putting a bed cover on. There you go. Now another uh, disadvantage of this bed liner, there are a lot of people that do not like the the, the slickness of that that liner. So you know a spraying liner tends to be more grippy. Uh, things won't slide around as easy um, and but on these drop-in liners things tend to slide real easy because they're slick and also cause static too on things um, so we're gonna get up here on the highway get it going a little faster speed here in Kansas you can go 75 in Kansas by the way this is a hybrid it's already at 60 pretty quick so not quite the get up and go that my EcoBoost does, but pretty impressive nonetheless. All right, so we're going 75. Let's set the cruise. 75. See if I hear anything at 75. I don't hear anything at 75. So, and 75 is our speed limit here in Kansas. Um, I know some people at 70, but um, I don't hear anything. We might turn around and go the other way and see if by going that direction it causes a difference. Uh, we've actually been going the same direction, north and south here. We might even try it east and west and see, depending, again, depending on the wind, it can affect that. I'm not hearing anything, but um, we've heard it from not only like one or just a couple of our customers, we've heard it from a lot of our customers that are not liking it and a lot of people I think on the forums too are stating that they're having issues and so people aren't even taking the chance they're just like hey I, I've already I've already read people are having issues with it and I'm not gonna I, I don't want it so uh, automatically from the beginning they're doing that so we're gonna go west here down this this road and see if we can hear it I think this is a 65 mile hour zone so up here it sure is Got the crew set at 70 here um, on this road. We'll hear if we see if we hear anything. All right, we're gonna turn around here. Little Kansas U turn right here. Let us know in the comments, let everybody else know, 
are you had are you having vibration issues but anyway that is one of the reasons that some people have uh, said that they want to take that drop-in liner out some people just don't like the drop-in liner uh, they'd rather have a spray-in liner or no liner at all um, or bed rug there's a lot of options here uh, Ford's kind of pushing uh, you know the drop-in liner on you know most people I mean if you want the nice features I mean this has the, the dual zone climate you know it has a heated seats it's got the heated mirrors uh, it's got you know the uh, power driver seat uh, you know it's got a lot of great features as part of this luxury package that people want you know uh, I think power driver seat, seat is, a, is a big one that people want uh, getting that outlet in the bed getting the LED light in the bed um, you know a lot of people want you know this this luxury package which is twenty two hundred dollars I believe this year with the drop-in liner you know and that drop-in liner is figured into that cost so you know it, they could make this a little bit cheaper package I think last year it was a, tw a 17 or eighteen hundred dollar package if I remember right without a drop without any kind of liner in there um, and so it kind of nice if Ford just took out the liners all together and let you choose what you want um, you know that would be the probably the best of, of the world but now, for those of you that have the drop-in liner and you want to take yours out, let's go back to the dealership We're right here. Let's go back to the dealership and let's show you uh, how, how easy or difficult it is uh, to be able to do that. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, didn't really hear any vibration like some people are. Uh, and uh, so again, drop it down in the comments. If you uh, did, if you have vibrations from yours and you're hearing it, um, and I could see, you know, these are these are four pieces. Um, you could you could like rattle, especially I would think right in here. You can kind of actually see it. I don't care if you can get that close. You can see that it's not like solid in there. It's moving around here. So you can. Yeah, you can. I could see how that's going to vibrate because the corners aren't fastened down. It's just, see here at the top it is, so that's in really good there with these. And then down here it is, and it's putting down there, but there's nothing keeping it down in the front um, from moving. Um, in this piece, you can see how, I mean, wind could catch up under there, and I could see it moving a little. Um, so, and then, you know, if this was down, you definitely would get it because this in here, now that we're going to take this off, I can actually do this. But this got a pretty good gap so anyway so we're gonna see you can see how that's just kind of put into place there um, so there's six tie downs I don't know if you guys knew that on your truck but um, you get uh, I think they, they call it ten tie downs so you get um, one up here on both sides so there's your two up here four six and then down there there's eight and then actually these out here on the corners are the ten the extra two that you get uh, so there's your 10 tie downs that you get on this more than you get in any other truck uh, at least any other Ford truck but anyway these here we're going to take these off and uh, and uh, kind of show you those I'm going to take all four of these off and then we'll take this and off we'll be able to reach that then we should be able to take these side pieces out so uh, let's get started and uh, by the way I think this is a T T T uh, T30 here uh, that I think this is what's in here so here we go
Okay, so we have all those out. So again, six tie downs you gotta take off and then these screws, uh, these bolts, you know, these screws that are in the corner keeping it down down there. Again, nothing keeps it down in the front. So you don't have to worry about that, but that's probably where you're getting your kind of your noise and everything is under there. But this should just be able to pop out at this point up underneath. There, well, that was easy. So that, again, tucks underneath there, so that kind of pulls out into one piece. So there you go. That's your part of your hard drop-in liner, and, uh, and you can see what it kind of looks like now. So, and these holes are right. That's what it's supposed to look like, everything else, just like it does from the factory, and you don't have to worry about taking that off, which is actually kind of cool. So let's take the other one off. We might need to move this. There we go. There's that off, and you can kind of see you're all good there. Don't have to worry about anything else. And then this piece here, we'll have to take off from down there. So, there we go. Let me go around that side. I think I'm caught. There we go so it slides up under there you can see take that off that might end up in the office <laughs> at least for the live stream Tuesday night uh, but yeah so this here uh, at that point need, probably just needs to come off right Blake double-sided tape And you can kind of see the double-sided tape on the back and it left it here. And I'll leave that for the spray and bed liner guy <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> but there you go, because you can see that is just a rail that that liner sits in up under there. But now what you have left, that's your bed tray liner right there at this point. So if you really wanted to, you could just take those three pieces off like we did and leave this down if you're sliding things in, if you just want a bed tray liner and not worry about the sides. Of course, put your tie downs back on, which we're not going to do because they're going to spray it and they always remove these when they spray it. So we're going to leave those off for him, but that's kind of how that works. And uh, we're not going to take this piece out, but all you got to do, unscrew these on this back tie down. Those, those are the really good ones. Um, those are in there, much bigger torque. I don't have the right size for that one, but I know my spring liner guy does. And you just take those out and then this comes out. Now, there you go. That's what the only thing really keeping that down are those sides. Uh, so that you're probably going to get a lot of stuff in there. In fact, you can see there's dust in there. So there's already, there, there's some dust in there already. So you're going to get probably moisture under there and in there in some way. And at some point it might, you know, rust under there and that kind of thing. That's why I've always not liked to drop in liners, but there you go. So there's a uh, kind of that. And then of course on this, this one too. So, all right, so there you go. Uh, that's kind of how you take that out. Hopefully you guys found this video of some use to you. I don't know. Let me down, know down in the comments. Are you going to do keep, keep your drop-in liner on your XLT Lux package? Are you going to take it out, put something else in? What do you guys like in a way of a bed liner? Do you like that Ford includes this into your Lux package? Are you upset that they do? Would you like the price to be lower and then not even include anything at all so you can choose what you want? Let me know all that down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this Maverick Monday video. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you later.